Our next guest does say NVIDIA is setting up for another quarter or two of similar results. Matthew Bryson, Webbush Securities Analyst, has an outperform target of 600. Uh, Matthew, great to have you. Uh, the, the key line, it seems to me, is when you say we're choosing to use this upside to effectively de-risk our forward model and price target in case a short-term reset does eventually manifest. Uh, talk about the odds of that. Yeah, so it's it's not something I see happening in the next quarter or two. So it just came out of a conference, and their uh, NVIDIA customers were talking about 200-day lead time. So that, that puts you well into Q2 in terms of NVIDIA visibility. Um, really, the question comes when you get to Q3, Q4, are, are the positive trends that NVIDIA talked about, whether it's new products uh, or new adjacencies they're moving into, um, enough that if you get a pause in training revenue, that NVIDIA still grows. And, and obviously, they're still confident of that. Um, I, I think longer term, um, AI is going to continue to grow. Um, but I, I think the concern is simply, do you get a pause at some point? Right. You say pause, and you, you even say even possible decline. I, I, that's not something you're actually forecasting, is it? No, I, I'm certainly not forecasting a decline. I'm, I'm not even forecasting a pause. And it, it's, it's more... When we've seen these situations before, right, uh, companies can't meet demand. You, you work up your backlog. Um, as that backlog becomes to come down, you're, you're overshipping for a bit. Now, with NVIDIA, um, the, the difference is that the AI market is a high growth market. So if there is a, a, a pause um, or, or even revenues backtrack a bit, um, they should be able to grow at an accelerated rate beyond that. Um, it's not like we're dealing with a mature market like I, I think you saw with Cisco and networking. For how long, Matt? How, how, much, how much visibility do you have into these kind of numbers and this kind of growth? Yeah, so in terms of visibility, again, next couple quarters, I, I think they simply have the demand there with or without China. Beyond that, um, I, I think to some extent it, it, what the TAM is, um, which will, in, in part, tie into growth, depends on whether or not they're, they're able to successfully ship to China. Um, and then beyond that, it, it's a, a question about what happens, particularly with these large language models. So what we've been seeing over the last year is a race to build the, the best large language model, in part because uh, it, there's a belief that that's what's going to drive the next wave of, of innovation in tech. Um, now, once those, those language models are built, I, I mean, you should see applications get built upon those models, and, and those will drive another wave of demand for uh, AI silicon, uh, so benefiting NVIDIA. NVIDIA certainly talked about that in terms of inference demand growing. Um, it, it could be that those applications come sooner rather than later, and we just don't see a pause. I, I think it's, it's more a lack of visibility as opposed to an invariable retracement that we're looking at right now, which is, again, why my numbers keep on going up. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not predicting a pause at this point. As, as generative AI continues to age and these large language models you talk about as well, I, you know, I wonder, is there a scenario under which, though, they may require o over time less computing power? I, I, I think there's not really a scenario where they require less computing power. I, I mean, potentially with the inference opportunity in, in particular, there are a number of startups um, who are, are trying to come up with with better solutions that are less energy intensive, yeah. um, that are, are better than NVIDIA. And then you've got the hyperscalers themselves trying to build out those solutions. So I, I think there's there's some debate as to who will build the best inference solution eventually. But all we've seen are, with training in particular is that these the, the chips have kept on getting bigger, the installations have kept on getting bigger. I don't think that changes.